Hi, I'm Hayley Victoria and welcome back to my crime and policing channel. In today's session, I am covering some specific areas and that's because I will be delivering this in class this week. In fact, this video will be part of the quiz that we are doing. So listen in people because there will be questions to answer at the end. If, however, you're just watching this, I hope it's insightful. But anyway, let's crack on. We are looking at counter-terrorism, the use of digital devices in relation to radicalising people and, you know, the threat and risk and all that stuff. So, first of all, when we're looking at um, radicalisation, something called prevent should be the first thing that you think of. The prevent strategy is this national strategy across the UK where people are supported if they're at risk of becoming radicalised and involved in, into terrorism. So prevent is something that you'll hear about a lot. So whether or not you work in the police service or any other kind of government service, if you work in a school, if you're a teacher, if you're a student at colleges and universities, you should know all about prevent. And it's all about how to spot the signs that someone's being radicalized, how to prevent yourself from becoming at risk of it and how to keep safe basically. Now more than ever, everyone has got easier access to materials you might not want to see all the time and through the wonderful world of social media people can be targeted a lot easier. Social media is a place where people go to vent and to forge friendships and imagine if you're quite an isolated individual maybe being bullied you're vulnerable in other ways you might not get on with your family and you are looking for this kind of acceptance somewhere online. Now then your terrorist and your extremist recruiters will be thinking Oh yeah, you are the target because you're vulnerable. Maybe you're easy to isolate from your friends and family. Maybe you're already a little bit isolated and they'll come in and it's a process. So radicalization is not an on and off switch. Radicalization happens over time. And it's where they'll, over time, they will encourage you to develop extreme views and beliefs to support terrorist groups and activities. Now, you might be thinking, oh, no one's ever daft enough to do that. Well, actually, it happens all the time. It's not about being daft. It's about being vulnerable. And like I said, if someone's isolated and feels disconnected and someone comes in and they tell you how amazing you are, you know, you've got just the right kind of skills that we need to change the world. Your parents don't understand you like we do. In fact, they probably just don't like the fact that you're outsmarting them because you really are clever you know you don't need your friends at school what did they know you're way more mature for your age and stuff like that is what people say to you to try and get you into their way of thinking over time their views will get more and more extreme and you're born into it there are two main kind of terrorist types in the uk at the moment i mean there are many types of terrorism and many different groups but in the uk we've got two main strands um, you've got your far right, such as National Action and um, Atom Waffen Division. And then you've got your extreme Islamist on the other side. And that's where we're looking at people like Daesh and Al-Qaeda. Prevent is run locally by experts in the communities, um, such as local authorities, the police, the council and community organisations. And these are people who know all the threats and risks in your area. As the police, you'll know all about this, I am sure. Some of the signs that someone is being radicalised are as follows. So, um, becoming more isolated from family and friends. Secrecy over their digital devices. Um, extreme anger and a sudden change in attitude. A sudden change in beliefs or expressing themselves. Expressing themselves in like an angry sense with this like injustice about situations. Especially blaming others for that as well expressing anger or extreme views to a particular group, um, such as a different race or religion, and sharing extreme views and hatred on social media. That's just some of the signs that somebody is being um, radicalised. You might notice a complete shift in attitude and behaviours. Maybe someone you know is starting to look at things online or talking about something in your friendship groups, colleges, schools or whatever, and you're thinking, that's, that's not right. If you think there is immediate danger, you call 999, obviously. So if it's somebody you know really well, try talking to them if you feel comfortable to do so. You can get lots of advice from sites such as ACT. Um, it's the ACT early website and that stands for Action Counters Terrorism. And there's loads of information on there. 
And that is all we are looking at today. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, look after each other and please don't commit any crimes.